Char. As the match begins, it doesn't get much faster than Tech Hounds. They quickly, in less than two seconds, get under the low bar. On the Red Alliance, we have one and almost two high tower goals. That high tower goal scored by Team 225 Tech Fire is going to give the Red Alliance a lead coming out of Autonomous. 40 points to 30. And Tech Hounds does it again. Multiple high tower goals being scored by the Red Alliance. The Blue Alliance attempting to keep up. Tech Hounds with a high tower goal. Vikings attempting to get in the low goal. But the Red Alliance, two robots back and forth able to score in that high tower goal. Tech Fire very successful in their attempts. Excel as well. And there's another one for Excel. And another for Tech Fire. Red is in the lead, 90 to 65, thanks to those high tower goals. But Tech Hounds in blue gets one to try to catch up. It appears we may have a down robot on the Blue Alliance. Vikings by the Cheval the Freeze. They have not moved recently. A solid robot signal light implying some kind of issue. In a moment, the beat will be played in many parts. With about 45 seconds to go, the Red Alliance pulling ahead, establishing a firm lead. Heck Hounds is trying its hardest to catch up for the Blue Alliance with high tower goals. But now that Blue is down to two robots, it's a tough struggle. At this point, both towers have been weakened. As we enter endgame, both alliances can work to capture. Two last high tower goals for the Red Alliance. Both Blue Alliance robots attempting to scale. Pen Robotics does it. Tech Hounds not able to do so. In red, we also have a scale by Tech Fire, but those bumpers are real close to the logo. But I'm seeing a thumbs up from our referees. It appears we have a scale on each alliance. Let's take a look at those final scores. And it is the Red Alliance 165 to 125. Red Alliance also earns four ranking points. Two from their victory, one from breaching the Outer Works, and one from taking the tower.